Thank you for visiting the Open Innovators Toolkit. I have had the pleasure of serving as the President's Chief Technology Officer for nearly three years. And one thing that came out loud and clear is that we have a tremendous amount of opportunity to tap into the expertise of the American people to solve big problems and to do so in a manner that could also lead to jobs and industries of the future. What I'd like to do is introduce you to the toolkit so that you can put it to use in your community or in your neighborhood. Over the past three years, the President has asked us to solve two big challenges. One, to create a more open and transparent government. And two, to find ways to create the jobs and industries of the future, what he referred to as a strategy for American innovation. This toolkit describes the techniques that policymakers can use to achieve both of these very, very important objectives. Over the past three years, we've seen a number of activities at the agency level, at the federal level, certainly at the state and local levels too, that are simple evidence that these techniques can be effective if put to use the right way. There are four basic categories in the Innovators Toolkit. First, we have found a way to open up data for innovators and entrepreneurs. Second, we have taken on the role of government acting as an impatient convener. You might think of this as government with a lowercase g. Third, we've gotten the authority, at least in Washington, to initiate challenges, prizes, and competition so that we're paying for results and inspiring everyday folks to engage and participate in some of the biggest challenges of our day. And last, but certainly not least, we're finding new and creative ways to attract talent, those that understand the power of technology, data, and innovation, as well as a commitment to public policy. And those folks that sit at that intersection are increasingly coming to work, not just at the federal level, but at state and local levels as well. It's an exciting story and an ex exciting movement. I want to share just a few words about each of these elements, and you'll learn more detail here at the Open Innovators Toolkit. On opening up data for innovators and entrepreneurs, we have seen just an ex exciting array of applications that are built by taking advantage of government data. What's fascinating about this is just our own weather experience. Many of you are familiar with the fact that we have weathermen and we have uh, weather apps on your cell phones and we have uh, newscasters that you watch on TV. But the source data that they all refer to comes out of a federal agency called NOAA. NOAA chose many, many years ago that it would offer unlimited rights to individuals who'd like to take that information and commercialize them into products and services. It's estimated that the weather industry is at least $2 billion plus, creating jobs and industries of the future, but built on top of weather information. In fact, we've seen most recently uh, a new form of crop insurance come out because they've taken the data from weather and uh, applied more modern technologies to assess the risk of an adverse uh, weather event on crops. This movement from our weather experience has now expanded into health, energy, and education. And you can see this in a set of communities that we've launched health.data.gov, energy.data.gov, and even education.data.gov, not to mention a number of others that are soon to launch or are already available at the data.gov platform. In these communities, our federal agencies are publishing data that is meant for anyone to use with no limitation, uh, often in machine-readable form so that individuals can not just read the information but actually put them to use in applications that they can develop. This technique has seen tremendous innovation in health and energy and education. And again, if you visit the toolkit, you'll see explicit examples and case studies. My favorite happens to be the work that's been done in the Veterans Administration, liberating government data for veterans called Blue Button, that now is scaled to the Medicare population as well as our active duty military. With the touch of a simple button, individuals are empowered to take their own data in a safe, secure way, whether it be health information or in the case of the Veterans Administration uh, of Veterans Affairs, our information about their service history. Once that individual is empowered with that data, there are now dozens of third-party applications that are saying, we will help you find a job in the civilian economy. We will help you retain a healthier lifestyle and support you to ensure that you're living longer and healthier. These are the kinds of products and services that come out of an open data ecosystem. Acting as an impatient convener, We've seen the power of, of the bully pulpit uh, in the context of the, uh, a whole range of initiatives that we've launched. Uh, most notably, how do we bring folks together to solve some of the thorny issues of security and privacy on the internet? 
We had a challenge in the healthcare community. Can we use safe, secure email to share medical information between two trusted providers or the provider and a patient? In 90 days with the role of convener at the center, we saw the private sector step up to the plate and design specifications for safe, secure email that now, a year or so later, are widely available to individuals at radically low prices. Third, we spoke about the importance of prizes, challenges, and competitions. Here we've seen the ingenuity of the American people in unbelievably creative ways, from solving uh, where 10 undisclosed red balloons are located through a DARPA red balloon challenge in celebration of the internet, to more substantive questions about whether or not we could harness uh, uh, big data applications to help our patent examiners look for and reviewing prior art applications. Third, or last but certainly not least, we spoke about the importance of bringing in the right talent. Our Food and Drug Administration has invented a new initiative called the Innovation Pathway that would allow breakthrough medical devices that solve big national challenges. The chance to see a separate process to go through, hopefully a more effective and efficient one, but without compromising patient safety. That Innovation Pathway is now being developed not just by government employees, but today, thanks to an entrepreneurship and residence program, the former CEO of Medtronic, Bill Hawkins, Dean Kamen, the godfather of all matters of invention, from first robotics to the Segway, uh, have all volunteered their time, in some cases as advisors and in others, side by side with government employees to implement that innovation pathway. We have great expectations for this new tool, and we're excited about this opportunity scaling to our immigration service and others. This is a portfolio that's just getting started. We are hopeful that we'll add more case studies and evidence so that you can see what works for you. But in the meantime, peruse the toolkit, get to know these opportunities, and see if we can scale up this open innovation philosophy. Let's solve our biggest challenges, America, and let's create the jobs and industries of the future at the same time. We will solve it here, to paraphrase Secretary Bryson, and we'll sell our solutions everywhere around the world because these are global, global challenges. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to serving you through the toolkit.